Hi, so this is the last portion of the dolphin logo exercise. So we've drawn the outline already and filled it with color. And then we drew the inner details. And I'm just going to make that both layers visible right now. And um, the outer line has that two point stroke. The inner lines have the one point stroke. And now what we're going to do is add text. And um, we're going to use the text on a path tool. So first, before you use the text on a path tool, you need to draw a path. And because the logo wraps around the dolphin in a half circle, then we can just take the ellipse shape and draw it. Oh, i got to make sure I'm on a new layer. Make a new layer for your text. I'm going to bring it to the top. Call it text. Okay. And draw the ellipse shape so that it covers the dolphin. And right now it's filled, so I can take the fill off. No fill, and honestly it really doesn't matter because even if I had fill and I go to grab my type on a path tool and I click in here, the fill goes away anyway. So, now you can type crystal, how do you spell that? Okay, it's C-R-Y-S-T-L, Crystal Sands Aquarium. Okay, and I'm going to need the text to be a lot bigger, so I just select all, either highlight the text by clicking and dragging, or you can do the control, which is... Control A for select all, and then um, the book says to use Bookman Old Style, so I'm going to follow that. Bookman, Bookman Old Style, and choose bold for the style of the font, and the size is 45. And now we have the text, but it's in the wrong place. So how do we move the text? We're going to have to go up and there's two different ways we're going to have to adjust it. First of all, we're going to take the selection tool and hover your mouse over until you see this little icon appear. See right now it's not there and if I hover over the cursor for the, the start of the text it, it shows up. It's like a little line with an arrow and if I pull this back like so, the text moves, okay, and then since the text is upside down, I need to flip it to the other side of the path. To do that, you need to select your direct selection tool, the white arrow, so I'm going to go up, grab my direct selection tool, and now to move it, you have to hover over a different cursor. It's a it's right here and it has um it looks like see now you don't see it now you do it's basically a horizontal line intersected by a vertical line and that's the symbol for flipping it to the other side of the path so you just click and drag when you see the cursor you can click and drag and I can move it back and forth I'm just dragging it back and forth on the path and that's good and I'm gonna move go back and get my selection tool and just move the text a little bit to the right so it's centered maybe back to the left or right I'm getting my left right mixed up all right and until it's about good and I think I'm going to actually move it over to the right just a bit so it's not in the dolphin's face click away to unselect deselect and that looks pretty good. There's also a little exclamation of come play on, above the dolphin that the book adds. So I'm going to go back to grab my regular type tool, which is just like a straight T, and then just click somewhere on the artboard. And then you can start typing come play. It's an exclamation. And grab your selection tool to move it, like so. And it's done.